Ryan Payne with me to analyze the market. He says the Mag 7, as in the Magnificent 7, running out of steam. Okay, they're kind of plateaued. Should I sell them? I mean, I think you can have a position there, Stuart, but I've kind of been banging the table about this for a while. But if you start looking at their earnings growth, it's going to start to decelerate over the course of next year, where the other 493 stocks in the S&P 500 are going to start to accelerate. And it's just like philosophically, when everybody owns the same thing, everybody believes the same thing, you're probably going to get some disappointment in performance, whereas all the unloved sectors out there, they get a lot of, I guess, a little less uh, publicity tend to be oh. a better places to allocate your capital. You're right. I mean, Magnificent yeah, yeah. Seven tech stocks, they've gotten a lot of love piled onto them for <laughs> many, many years, and they're still at it. We are in lockstep about big tech. You're right there. But yeah. not, you don't sell them, right? You hold on? I think you start to trim back significantly or magnificently on those positions, just to yeah. add in there. Um, you start to look put money elsewhere. I mean, I'll even be bold here today. I mean, if you look at the global markets, uh, they're actually back into economic growth. If you looked at the last uh, three quarters, they had two negative quarters, they went positive. They trade at like a 70% discount to the Magnificent Seven. They're getting three, 4% dividends, and they're going to cut interest rates quicker than they are here in the U.S., probably as early as June. And inflation for them has come down much more than this come down over here on the side of the pond. Well, are you suggesting that we should put, Americans should put their money into foreign markets? I know it's provocative, Stuart, but <laughs> I would argue right now is a very good time to do that, especially when valuations are much lower. In fact, if you look at in local currencies, the developed markets right now are an all-time record high as well. Yeah, that's true. And the outlook looks pretty good there. Maybe slower growth in the U.S., but slow growth is better than no growth. And again, if it's unloved, you're getting it at a discount. Well, you buy an ETF? From a, for the European market or Japan yeah. or the Korean equity fund, something like that? Just an ETF? That's how you do it? I'm a simple man. I'm from Philadelphia. So I would just buy the ETF. You get capitalization weighted. All the cream will rise to the, to the top. It's a great place to allocate some capital here. Okay. We hear you, Ryan Payne. Thank you very much indeed. Let's but I'm it. not selling my magnificent seven. <laughs> I don't want to pay the tax. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk later, brother. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bro.